My name is Brandon Alvis, and I have dedicated my life to researching untold stories of history in hopes that the truth stays fact. Working alongside historians and experts, I will uncover the strangest stories ever told. There is a town named Lebec, which is up uh, by the top of the grapevine near Fraser Park, and it was named after Peter Lebec. We know so little about this guy, and yet he was there, he was found, and somebody honored him enough to put an inscription in a tree which lasted for, for decades. Really the only thing we're sure of is that he was killed by a grizzly bear up in what is now Fort Tejon in 1837. News can be a fleeting moment. Time can be unforgiving as certain events are lost to history. This series will show the correlation between the past and modern day. Like taking a page from Theodore Dreiser, it was truly an American tragedy. The stamp mills were deafening and they went 24 hours a day. The miners, there were three shifts of miners. So when the above ground staff that were working with the stamp mills, which were crushing the ore, the ground shook and you could hear in them for miles around. So when the disaster hit, they were silent, and everybody in town knew that something was terribly, horribly wrong. They never determined the cause of the fire, but I would conclude that it was incendiary because it, it happened so fast. Incendiary would be the same as arson. Somebody said it. 